Welcome to the first Skipper Architect meeting call. In this week's call, we're going to talk about our co-working space and the design of that and all the different elements in terms of how that co-working space works with our pool area, chill spaces. Um, we're also going to go through our restaurant and bar that we're planning on building and talk about a little bit about the construction techniques that we're using there. We talk a little bit around the placement of the uh, bouldering wall and how the gym should interact with some storage units. Uh, and then we also cover a little bit around staff space spaces and just some general overview of the site and kind of what's been going on. I hope you find it useful and interesting. We're going to be publishing these every week. I'd love to get your feedback. Uh, without stop, without any further ado, let's jump into the video. I'm so the slow. Projector was... Yeah, I'm so slow today. <laughs> we had it so that the projector was no, facing no. the other direction. Yeah. And I changed. I suggest that we put it this facing away from all the people because if you're looking oh, you're at from the pool, screen yeah. and you can see people pulling faces in the background and stuff, it's not ideal. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we have our veranda sitting. Oh, I like that. looking the pool. That's very cool. That's very nice. So if it's a nice day, you can go and sit outside and work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we then have with the with the pool, some power sockets which out there. Well, no. Yeah, no? we'll have power sockets next to the swimming pool. Yeah, it does seem that's why I was questioning. So watch, not 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 really. We'll we'll run. We can run our our electrical cables under this uh, uh, desk or timber platform. Mm -hmm. So it comes up with the pole, and then our sockets are mounted on the table. Yeah, I think so. You can you just the best thing to do here is going to be to put the sockets yeah. on the ceiling at the top of the posts. So see where okay. that post is at the top of the post, and then we'll put. US, we'll put um, we'll put our own power adapters in them, and then we'll leave cables that people low voltage cables that people can use to plug in their equipment if they want to. Yeah. So it's got two okay. thirty that's volts a, on the nice ceiling, option. and then just coming down is just a, an extension cable, just with a phone charging cable or a laptop charging cable. Most lap most people with laptops are using MacBooks and stuff, um, and they all use USB C, yes. so it's all the same charge cable. Okay, that's, that's also a good option. I think that works. Um, let me share this other screen. One moment. Yeah, swimming pools on 230 volts. Yeah, no, that is. <laughs> yeah. What's this? I just thought I, I do a mix of uh, timber, like a laminate, yeah. and a gypsum, just to make the space more interesting. Um, and also for acoustics. The illusion of, I think timber just gives you a feel that the space is more, is more warm, not really warm, but in an acoustic sense, it's better. Uh, the, the other thing I've not really figured out is for the furniture, uh, what we were talking about, the acoustic panels. Do we really need to separate the workstations now? Or we just I'm, I'm not worried. Zone. Don't like I said last call. I don't want to worry at all about tables, like desk arrangements, okay. and tables and chairs and acoustic panels. That's like we don't. We only need to. We only need to design it in. What we need to worry about is just the room itself. Um, you know, it's okay. not. You know, because we could. We could come up with a hundred different ways, and it'll all be wrong until we put people in it and find out how they use it. Um, okay. The. But the room design is interesting, yeah. When I was wondering how could we make it a bit more like, a bit more hipster. Artwork. Um, the, think art, I think, think art on the wall. I think how to make the, the space nice is just putting, like, between the, the windows, obviously not on the white wall, which we're using the projector, but everywhere else, nice artwork and mm -hmm. plants. That's how you make it nice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think, I, I think it's basically just an empty room with we'll, some nice... We'll fill it with stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we can try that. We can do some nice artwork. Uh, do you have a theme for the? Do you have a theme in mind for the co-working space? Um. Not yet. For the artwork, think, that. Yeah, not not yet, but I think we can come up with something. I think I've got some ideas of how that could be nice. Yeah, we'll just pick up stuff like this. Yeah. 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 Um, the. Yeah, the ceiling's interesting. So, yeah. Um, so that's the basic idea was to just alternate the gypsum and 
and and then uh, we'll see. Uh, in terms of lighting, we okay. definitely need to see also. How do you think that survive transport? Mm. Sorry. How do you think it would just survive transport? No, this can be done on site. I yeah, think. but what if we move? Because there are two containers. Remember. So even for transport, it can't be uh, sh uh, it can't be transported like this. It will be each container, and then they are set up on site. Yeah, I know, but what I mean is, what if we move it <laughs> later? Like you'd have to take it apart anyway to do. Yeah. That. So we'll put the ceiling. I can do. We do can decide that we won't work with gypsum, but if we work with timber, timber can be removed. Like we can do the ceiling in such a way that it's it's like a TNG. So you just remove the ceiling, and then the containers can move, be moved. Well, we could have the ceiling just, we could have it just meet in the middle. If you're doing timber on the ceiling, oh. on the top, yeah. I don't know, like six yeah. mil or whatever, 12 yeah. mil timber, then you can just do it down the middle yeah. and have it just meet in the middle of the two okay. containers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that each half has this, the... Yeah, so then when you pull them apart, it's just, it's just how it is. Just they come together, it's complete. Yeah. Okay. Carpet on the floor. Okay, and I think that works. Away. Yeah, I mean, sand insulation and that. Uh, the floor will be carpet. Yeah, carpet. Just office carpet. On Sorry. The floor. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a wall to wall carpet. Can be carpet tiles, or we just do one, one uh, carpet. Yeah. For the whole area. Whatever. I mean, I don't, I, yeah, I don't mind which which I, whichever approach is easiest. Um, the um, that should take out most of the nice. echo and stuff. Yeah. So I did the small gazebo at the end. Yeah, like so that. So it's just a platform. Yeah. With a. So for here we can screen it off, because uh, we'll have access. Uh, guys from the co-working space can come down like this, and come around the gazebo and go to the washroom. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to, we can, we can uh, like do some planters here such that around the gazebo such that it's a, it's a like a defined space. Yes. Uh, but uh, the function, the most important function that is here, we'll have the pool equipment underneath. Yeah. So for me, it's just uh, another spot to chill. We can have some nice. Got a chair there or something. Uh, like, a, like a hanging chair yeah. that you can swing on. Yeah, I was thinking exactly. like a hammock or a, hang a nice hanging chair. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too much like solid furniture. Mosquito. Yeah. On my phone. Oh. Lazy mosquitoes. So, <laughs> yeah, honestly, they're so slow, they're easy to kill. <laughs> so I did the I did the iron sheets above this container done. We didn't have one. Yeah. No, it makes sense, otherwise it'll be another. We have, yeah, so since we had this uh, washroom coming in, I just did for the whole setup so that we can also protect our container from direct rain mm -hmm. and a bit of cooling. What's your thought about on, so top, of the, on top of the... What's your Sorry? Thought, what's your thought on top of the co-working space container for cooling? There's a big old roof we got there. No, no I don't. I didn't want to do one big roof. So uh, I've been thinking about like uh, we can do a, a mix of uh, potted plants with different shaded like gazebos. Um, their furniture we can we can get that like I care that you just put together and then it's set up on on that deck. I didn't want to do one one big roof. I feel like for the construction on site, I want to minimize what we we build. Yeah, we could do one of those top. I'd rather have fun. Yeah, yeah, like the, yes. sort of like um, not you know the the light canvas kind of ones that you get like where it's sort of hanging from three different posts and you've got like a, a canvas yes. cover and That's then it's funny. not a proper full gazebo but it gives you the shade and um, yes, if you have two or three of those in the different corners. Yeah, so that's that's basically what I'm thinking about, and also to give this light a bit of fluidity, uh, because once we commit to structure, we can't change that much. But if we have an open space, we can even hold another 
you know, meeting on top here. And what were you thinking about fine. construction material for the roof? Wood and stuff, or what was your thought? Uh, for which roof? On the for this one. On the co-working. Um, so there are two options. Uh, we already have uh, the container roof. Yeah. I was thinking we can do we can do light gate steel, and then there is um there's this iron sheet. It's like um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, UT. It has the grooves. So once you you lay the the steelwork, you lay the iron sheet on top, and then you give a, a topping of concrete like 50 millimeters. So with that, I think we'll have a very solid deck, and it's also soundproof. Any reason we wouldn't just do it so in wood? Then, cost. That would be my issue. Cost. Do you think it'd be more expensive? A lot more expensive? How much? Um, unless I do comparison, but if we do. Okay, just take a scenario. If we do timber, yeah. what will be the finish on timber? Because whatever we do, whatever timber we do in timber, timber, it has to be water. <laughs> it has to be waterproof. Timber decking on timber. Um, I mean, on top of the container for waterproofing, you would just put some. Um, you'd run some felt, right? You'd run some felt waterproofing. Some, you know, that kind of two, three mil plastic with yeah. grain on top. St seal yeah. that on top of the container which would give the container a waterproof top and then you just build whatever on top of it okay, okay. i think i think that was awesome so I, I just wanted to show you the call the the chill space so i have it like this mm -hmm. my my idea my idea for the interior is to have lounge sofas um on this backing up on this wall and then have some small movable tables and I want to plaster the wall or I want to do nice keepers the lions mm. on the on both ends this side and this side so for this chill space I wanted the theme I wanted uh, it to be keepers as we have for the different different uh, like our merchandise or our logo uh, so there's a bit of customized feel yeah. for the, yeah, there's for the some really, space. There's really some really cool new screens that we could put in there as well. Sort of like crypto okay. crypto what's it called showing screens. You get a little you get like there's some cool monitors now people are putting oh, up is to it show like, their NFTs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's there's some cool stuff we could do there. Yeah, on the back wall. So you can share with me you can share with me what you what you think on that. Yeah, I, like when, I, when, I, when I get around to it, for sure. <laughs> and I think also for the, yeah. for the the furniture, kind of the more comfortable, the better. I, maybe one or two sofas, but I was also thinking things like um, bean bags, you know, big bean bags. Oh, yeah. You're a bean bag fan. You think? Yeah, people like them. Just like maybe one or two in the, they, they can be moved around. Can throw, yeah, you can throw them down on the floor. Yeah. You don't like them? Uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of my view for that room, it should have one high table with at least four seats at it, and then, yeah, whatever else, like a like a nice living room, basically. The rest yeah, of just it. just comfy where people can hang out together. Okay, so just give me a minute. I want to pick something, uh, okay. and then I come back. I need to clear this space, but I can show Camilla what we had done so far. Uh, But the oh, this is we agreed that we yeah. change. We are going to a more beam and mm -hmm. yeah, like the the uh, the other bar that you what, what's the name Jockey again? Club I, I keep forgetting. Jockey that one. Club, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's not an obsession. I just think it's a good layout. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, so, in terms of massing, it's like this. Mm -hmm. We have a two levels at the back and at the front we have a, a deck yeah uh, which will be covered by there's a retractable roof and then there's some netting beneath it a retractable roof so that well i was thinking about yeah. rollback roofs here you know roller roofs 
so that if it's raining you can well so you can have it open or closed but i don't know if we'd ever want it closed other so than when it's raining you, you've seen how it rains when you want it, you're going to want it closed my thought with that you're, you you're not going to be sitting there at all it's never going to be open basically i think it's always going to be closed it was just uh i think it would be better just to have a normal roof there yeah um, i think a normal yeah, I, I feel like so we just do it. Yeah. No, no. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought like you have like, monkeys running up and down it and going through. Yeah, it and, no, yeah. I feel like that adds a retractable loads roof is loads just of adding leaves on it and yeah. it's adding a uh, cost for probably not very much yeah, benefit. Just, just normal roof, I think. So in, in terms of functionality, we just have it. We get a sloppy a sloppy roof mm-hmm. that will. Um, and even for maintenance, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, can we do? Do you think can we do a translucent or alternate? I think translucent's trans- fine translucent. as long as it's got something on top of it. Like we've tried when we've sat at um, there's a bar in there's a bar in Diani called uh, Rockies, and they have a okay. makuti oh, yeah. and then translucent plastic. But because they don't have uh, anything underneath the plastic, the heat transmits straight through the top it's into the plastic, so hot. and then it's like. It's like a radiator. I think it needs an extra layer. It needs an extra layer between the plastic and the people. So, um, okay. Makuti, plastic Makuti is okay, probably. Yeah, but then what's the point of the plastic? To stop the rain. And the Makuti stops the heat. Okay. But yeah, the translucent, then it's, like it's not, you won't be able to see out. It just because it creates I don't think such you need a to greenhouse. Be able, I don't think you need to be able to see out. I think it can be solid. Cause people need to be able to walk on it to clean it, right? And to get off it and get stuff yeah. off. So. It doesn't need to be made out of plastic, but plastic's fine if it's quick and cheap. Yeah. Um, so in terms of massing, that's how we look. Cool. Uh, the site is getting more detailed as we go. Yeah. So we we changed we changed this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Could we put the ladder on the other side? Uh, of have our rock climbing. Yeah. So. This portion. Yeah. So if you what if you on the gym on the side of the gym, I would get rid of that wood. So uh, assume those two yeah, units. Yeah, Yeah, assume. Yeah, take that off. Assume both units are going to touch each other. So the blue unit and the okay. gym unit effectively are going to be like clamped onto each other, and then we're going to build the climbing wall yeah. around the corner. So the climbing wall will be will be built into that corner there. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So you get to do it. Yeah, yeah, and then on that corner we will. We'll build the wall around the corner, so the climbing wall will go along the side of that storage unit and around the corner of the gym. Yes. And then, obviously, the far end of that mm-hmm. storage unit on the, you know, on the northern side or the left side of your screen, there needs to be a space to be able to get yeah. into it. Yeah. So now the the okay. white one and the blue one don't touch. Yeah. So we separate this two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the so my main question, my main thing there is, we need to be able to get into the blue unit through its doors. For the laundry, we can cut out a door in the front. Um, okay, so we 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 do a door at the front for the laundry. Yeah. So I've pushed back the entrance for the for the laundry section. Yeah, and then if we need more space, if we need more space, the un- the 40 yeah. foot unit at the other end, we can change to a 20 foot if we don't have enough space. This What's the final one? Where's this one meant to be? Uh, or, but I think we, or, we still yeah, have a lot of space. Still got some space. Back. Okay, we can just shift them there. All what right, is cool. this one? What's the third storage. one? Storage. Storage. Okay, so we've got storage, then laundry, then storage. Yep. Okay, good. Storage mm, slash we agree that as a water tower. <laughs> laundry laundry will be only accessible to staff, right? Uh, no. no I think guests. guests can get to laundry as well. If guests want to do their own laundry, they can. Okay. Okay. We can get it. So I think uh, in but terms of It's fine of to have a gate there. I mean, we'll, we'll, it, that, that setup is perfect from a co- cornering it off perspective. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like that we have this work we're coming up to the units mm. and yeah. then it's we've closed it in all the way up to here so this can still be maintenance yard or something yeah. like if we have furniture being fixed it can be brought this side i feel like this space is a bit wasted then no i think it's fine i think it'd be good to maybe have some uh one thing that we don't have in in this setup is we don't have uh staff showers or washrooms um 
like a male and female changing room that could be what goes inside that final unit maybe I don't know or it could just be maintenance stuff feels like there's some feels like we're missing if if hypothetically speaking this entire site is built as it currently is then there'll be about 30 people working on it and that means they'll want okay. places that they can go and get changed and get dressed and get undressed you know, for work, from yeah, work. Yeah, well, so much go and sit and eat lunch and stuff like that as well. Yeah, not necessarily being the g everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, that, if, it, if that's the number of people, you do need some area. Um, is this corner the best? Probably. Uh, it's the okay. only. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be the best, but it is the <laughs> only. Yeah, I mean, what you could do is you could change yeah, that 40-foot unit at the end, change it into 220s, okay. put 120 in the corner, okay. and then have 120 okay. as a, one of them as just a male-female changing room washroom, just the whole 20-foot unit okay. split in half in the middle, so one end male, one end female, changing room washroom, and then the other the other unit can be a storage unit. And that, okay. gives, that gives some facilities, otherwise it's a bit crap. And um, <clears throat> like a a place for stuff to maybe have lunch and stuff. What do you think? Yeah, just in there. Can in, they, can, in that area, right? Yeah, I mean, there's also the space, like we said, behind the behind the two food court units there that you've got. So when you bring that wall down, you'll have some space. But in terms of um, in terms of running the facility, um, this space here. We want to try and encourage, help people start their businesses. So that's a nice way to kind of do it. So we might have like okay. a scheduled one where people can come and cook whatever they want each, you know, they, they get two days a week or a day a week or whatever. For the okay. retail units, we don't know. <clears throat> some of them might be concessions. Some of them might be, um, some of them might be where we are the dealer for a brand. Um, I mean, it can be, okay. it could be anything, but there will be people there. Hence why I think that wall that where you're hence why I think the wall on the left here where the car park is needs to yeah. move back a bit just to create some some space there so that people can you know hang out okay. hang out away from the guests um, da, 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 da. um yeah, maybe one like point, that, that's yeah something like that one point seven one point eight just enough space that people can, you know, 1.5. Yeah, maybe I'd push it a little bit further. I'd go 1.6, 1 1.8. Just enough where people can go and have a drink and, a, you know, have a, have a bit of space. Yeah, just like in their downtime, they need to be able to. Yeah, of course, you've got your uh, other stuff there as well. Um, cool. Yeah, my only thoughts here is it would be good to get some costings in terms of what your estimates are on the uh, co-working space and on the chill space. The chill space looks quite cheap and the co-working space is beginning to look very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll a uh, we'll uh, cost a uh, cost um i'm thinking i'll also be doing some costings uh, i won't wait for the container guys so that i can have something to ask questions based on yeah yeah we want to we want to have a baseline take, yeah. for ourselves to say okay well if we were going to do this ourselves and just buy the containers and then fit them out ourselves what would the cost be the 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 Kenyan lawyer wants um, notarized paperwork from Estonia. There's a waiting list of 10 days for notarized paperwork in Estonia. So, and, you know, it's like every time there's like, oh, well, we just need this one other thing. And it's OK. Oh, well, that's going to take two weeks to get that thing. <laughs> OK. Um, but um, we'll get the there. lawyers, they've not, they, have they worked with uh, Estonian companies before? The lawyer for them, in it's Kenya, new... I don't know. I don't think so. But the... Um, you know, but they, they know what they need, so uh, they seem to be... Okay. They've, they've, they've been very organized so far, um, so... Yeah, I saw the farm. You, it's the same farm you showed me, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're expensive. That's a good farm. Usually <laughs> <laughs> they're good. Yeah, yeah I mean, in they, Kenya, once they know the, the, their stuff, they will charge you yeah. a bit expensive, but... Yeah, I mean, okay. I'd rather have I'd rather have a, a slightly. I mean, because they're not, they're for me, they're right in the perfect space. They're not like a one man band, a one woman band where it's just yes. one person, and it's also not you yes. know it's not not PWC. They're somewhere in the middle of the two. Yeah. And, uh, 
yeah. So, yeah, they're going to be a little bit more expensive than going to a local lawyer, but they might be a bit more thorough and rigorous. Like, um, I don't want yes. a, I don't want a lawyer that's trying to save me money by cutting corners. And 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 in Kenya, doing doing your due diligence is like the best thing you can do for yourself. Yeah, the best investment. No, nobody cares, but once things start hitting the fun, it's yeah. tough. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's a good thing. Yeah, um, look, it's looking cool. Sorry, man. Yeah. It's looking really cool. Um, and the space. Uh, let's have a look at the space. The space. It's it's getting more correct. Yeah, let's have a look at the space between the forty foot containers. That that narrow now narrower path. So I'm thinking here, or my thinking here is, this is this is mainly going to be blocked off. Yeah. So we're going to put something here, like a small like a little fence, gate or... yeah, a little gate or something, so that it's not a primary through yeah. fair, but it's available, you know, like a fire exit basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and try and direct people's main traffic around yeah, yeah. the back. Yeah. So we'll put some plants and stuff there, so mm -hmm. that it doesn't look too, so that here it doesn't look too yeah, yeah, that easy an entrance, and then that means that each of these is like a little. It's own little quad, effectively. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's looking really nice. I like that. So we pull this walkway in the middle here. We mm -hmm. pull it all the way to this main. Yeah. So that you go around and come like this. Yeah. So the approach is not there. clear so, where okay. your path is. Yeah. Okay. And then likely what we'll end up doing um, is yeah. you see this end twenty foot unit. This one. Sorry, these two. You see the twenty-foot unit that's on the um, yeah, those two at the end there. One of those twenty-foot units, okay. probably the one, well, one of them, might become a kitchen. Um, okay. Oh, like a shared kitchen. Yeah. yeah. So we'll leave the we'll leave the setup exactly the same as it is in terms of the unit. It'll have a bathroom and stuff, but we might just have one of them as a okay. shared kitchen. Um, because the 20 foot units don't have shared kitchens and it's probably something that people will want. But again, we don't really know what people want until they start arriving, so. Okay, I think I think that's okay. Um, why, why not do an extra container, 20 foot down? Why not? Why just put more in? Just stack, no, I mean, just I stack them on top of each other as well? No, it's getting too busy then. You want some green space, okay. don't you? Yes. Start yes, definitely. Let's get the twenty. Let's get just put the put the twenty foot three stories high in the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, I mean, I okay. think some we want to retain some green space still. Yeah, definitely. We don't want it to be. Yeah, I think too we've, we've taken congested. up enough of the floor space, and considering all the other things that that's going on, I think there's enough. We've placed enough buildings. It's about. It's just about tidying up what we have and yeah. refining it, I think. It's looking good. So in it terms great, of... It? Sorry? It looks great though, doesn't it? It's very cool. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Um, I like I like the way it's developing. And, the, you know, from where we started, if you remember, and how and where we are right now. Yeah, yeah to start with, it's it a lot like a of... shipping yard. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So for me, for me, I'm okay with the how we are progressing. So um, in terms of what we need to to do, for me, my my main concentration will be this. Yeah. And then I can go to this. Okay. So this we we I'm I'm trying I'll change the uh, building technology, and see how we can incorporate uh, like jockey club, uh, the way of building. Yeah. Uh, and see. And also maybe contextualize it to the cost a bit. With the, the yeah, it's just there's some chaos there, but we're getting there. Okay. It's like getting a small child okay. to school, you know. They will eventually get there. They just sometimes a bit slow. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I think I think that's okay. Uh, we can we can update the the boards on trello yeah mm -hmm. like what we need to i looked at the excel that you shared then um what i need to the things i need to look into so i've started looking at that and hopefully i'll have a good report by end of next week cool so we'll see what we need but for 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 the guys i'll push so that i see if we can get even the costing for just fabrication for a 20 foot and a 40 foot so that you can compare. Yeah, well, we have there already then, the original costs that they have. So I can't imagine 
that the costs that we're that I can't imagine the only thing that we are we're really changing from the example pricing that they sent over is the um, the uh, aluminium doors and windows that's the only main difference so it's just the delta of the cost of those fit of those fittings everything else in our units is exactly the same as the ones they fabricated previously I don't think to see those should yes. change much other than like, like I said literally the fittings that we're putting on where we're putting on more expensive windows and doors um, I think that's fine. And for the for the site, once we do leveling, mm -hmm. um, how high do you think we need to put the containers off the ground? It's a great question. Because that also will 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 be a cost for us, a site build up cost. Yeah, I so my having looked at the different techniques, and I'll take your some of your steer on this as well. Having looked at the different techniques of how to place these. You know, one extreme is oil drums. You know, you just fill oil drums with concrete and you just use those as uh, as as feet. So we could do that and just okay. countersink oil drums. That's a way of doing it. I think. Um, okay. I think that might. I'm not. I'm not so keen at using oil drums because no. it's not particularly environmentally on the right direction. Um, but we yes. could obviously just make casts and then use just. Just like we would, you'd normally form concrete, we just normally form the concrete, laser level it, make sure all the posts are the same right height, and then just pour like I don't know four, four, four per side um, on the on the on the on the strong edges, and then that should cover what we're doing in terms of height. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, what are the considerations for height? It's not like a flood risk area, but you, you don't know. want it too close to the ground because then I mean you want it close. An to inch the... is one. Huh? image yeah what it looks like is main the main thing right and also we don't want it too close to, if we have it so if we place them for example let's say we put them two inches off the ground then we wouldn't be able to clear any weeds that were under it and also if there's any issues so you with, want big enough that someone can crawl any, under it yeah you, you kind of want big enough that you can at least spray some in, some pesticide down there yeah okay um yeah or some in, or some uh you know anti-plant stuff but we're going to put gravel under them or something anyway so yeah um, okay. yeah i don't know <laughs> but what do you think? So we we'll, um my my main uh, I had two issues. One um cost whatever we do uh will have an implication on cost. Yeah. Secondly, the the issue of uh pests like we don't want animals to come and live beneath. What thinking, so yeah, whatever we do monkey colony living underneath of <laughs> Yes. Um and in terms of and then aesthetics definitely is just like whatever we do needs to look good for about 40 centimeters yeah about 40 centimeters 40 45. Oh, 40 is fine uh, in the design in the design at the moment it's it's 60 centimeters okay yeah i have it at 600 millimeters off the ground okay 400 is enough that you can spray fine. under it Easily, yeah. yeah, and you wouldn't be really be able. Do you be able to fit a human under that? Under that? A child. <laughs> you could fit. You could crawl under that <laughs> on your back. Yeah, forty is big enough that you can get underneath it if you really needed to, but not so high that it causes any issues. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I guess the question for the good guys is what coating are they going to put on the underside of the containers? On the container, yes. Because we want some Especially kind of some kind of really industrious because of the paint. humidity. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So those are those are very critical questions because they need to factor in that we don't want them to come to site and then say, "Ah, we didn't plan for this." And we didn't yeah. paint the bottom of the containers. Now we've got to paint them and wait five days. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. I'll, I'll ask my okay. So, um, um, I might, I might be going to Mombasa yeah. over the weekend, maybe next week. So, if I'm able to, I'll tell you if I can rush to Diani and have a look at the site. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, if you need to, I've got. So we have a, um, so we might do a 15 minute okay. stand up, um, starting from either next week or the following week, depending on. Um, how quickly the kids get to school. <laughs> fine. That's fine. 
Sweet. All right. Awesome. Well, I'll catch you in a bit. Thanks so much for everything so far. It's looking great.